Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to remove symbolic or hard links. Now, um, I actually have already recorded another video showing you how to create symbolic links and hard links, and I covered like the differences between the two and went into detail on how you would delete all the hard links on a given system. So I've, I've covered a ton of this already in a previous video. So if you want more detail about that, you might want to go check that video out. But for now, hopefully this, this video should just serve as a quick, uh, you know, a quick guide to show you how to delete a symbolic or hard links. I'm actually going to show you how to create them too. Um, so this is going to be a little, little bit of a repeat of what I already did, but hopefully it helps someone. So let's create a file. And from here we are going to, so our file will be test. Um, all right, so we're gonna create a hard link to this. Len test hard link one. Now we're gonna create a symbolic link. So symbolic link is basically a soft link. It's another name for symbolic link. Use a dash S to make it symbolic. So um, just doing LN will create a hard link and LN S will create a soft link. So you specify your original source file here, and then the actual link here as a second parameter. All right, so let's take a look at what we have. All right, so we have a hard link and a soft link. The soft link points to test, and the hard link also points to test, but it doesn't show you that because these are basically, the hard link and the soft link are basically the same file. Um, you can see test now has two hard links pointing to it. So this is basically what I covered in uh, my previous video, which you might want to go take a look at. Anyways, um, you can say rm, rm uh, soft link, and that will remove the soft link. That it's that easy, just like removing a regular file. Now you could say rm hard link, and that's going to delete that hard link. And there you go, hard link is deleted. The original file is still there. Now. Remove that and everything's gone. So let, let's just uh, let's try this again in a different order. Um, let's uh, create a new file. Now let's create a couple links again. Let's create a hard link and let's create a soft link real quick. All right. So soft link and let's create a soft link to our hard link also. There we go, we can see original file, the hard link, and a soft link pointing to the original file and a soft link pointing to the hard link. And keep in mind the hard link and the, the original file are literally the same file, it's just a different name for the same file. So it's not a copy or anything. So all of these have the same data. Writing to any one of these links or files will write to the same place. Reading to them will read the same data. All right, so you can say rm test, say if you remove the original file first. Now we'll notice uh, this soft link is broken. It's um, so pointing to test, there's no file named test. Now the file is still there, but it's only named hard link now. So this the same data is still there, but it's just called hard link. So you can read hard link and that has that original data that we echoed into it. And this soft link points to hard link rather than to test. You, you can also read from this. There you go, uh, same data. And one says, you know, no such file. All right, so we could say, oh, also worth noting the hard link now only has, it shows there's only one hard link to that file. Um, I think that's pretty much everything we wanna cover with this. Um, I'm gonna real quick show you how to delete all, all um, hard links. So let's say if we, all right, I'm just gonna remove everything. And um, create a new file and so 
So these are all the same file. The A, B, and C are all hard links to test, but they're, they're all basically links to the same data. They're basically just the same file, different names for the same file. Now, if you want to remove all of them, um, you can remove everything that is a hard link for test. Now, basically that's everything that's the same file. This is, I feel like I'm really repeating what I did in the previous video, but anyways, find, and I'm, I'm just gonna look in my home directory. All right, and I'm gonna say xdev same file. So we're telling the find command to look for the same file as test. So any file that's also the same file as test is, is what we're gonna find. So we run this, it's gonna give us all of the, we're, we're searching in home user one. So that's, that's the test directory I'm in right now is under home user one. And it finds all of these hard links in the same directory. Now say if we wanna remove them, we just pipe it to xargs and rm. And there we go they're all gone. So that's basically everything um, I wanted to cover. Um, essentially, if you want more detail on this, check the previous video I, I made on hard links and soft links. I, I go, go over a lot more theory in that. It's a much longer video, so hopefully maybe this video is a little bit more digestible. Um, so hopefully it provides some value. I'm kind of hoping this video provides some value. I'm kind of trying to justify creating this video, but that is basically it. So hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting, if nothing else, you might wanna give me a thumbs up. Um, you might wanna hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon up. Otherwise, uh, YouTube's probably not gonna let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up and, and we've actually, if you wanna check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff, um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking, all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment that for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.